Hello and welcome to Hole Diggers Extra. Hello. Duncan, that is a beautiful dog you have on your head there. His name Lovely. is Gerald. Gerald. Hello. Uh, <laughs> in Hole Diggers Extra, we are going to do all the boring stuff that we can't do on the main series because it's really fiddly and boring and Simon like falls asleep when we try and do it. We're going to work on the stuff to, to basically make the main channel series run smoothly, but this is kind of a little bit behind the scenes. Uh, so we've got this Emmy assembler with loads of patterns that I made uh -huh. uh, in the main series. Now, what we can do is we can pretty much use this crafting thing to make anything mm. we want, quite simply. So, for example, we have run out of glass, okay, in the in here. We now, can't have what? We have clear glass panes, we have some thick grid glass, we have some glass bottles, some glass panes, some hardened glass. We can make quartz glass uh, quartz because I put a glass. recipe in for it. We can, we've got some reactor glass, we've got some other crap, but no normal glass. Okay, now how do you make normal glass? You cook sand. That's right, so we're going to put a recipe in here and it's going to be ludicrous, uh -huh. okay, but we need to get Blank one sand and we need to get one glass. So, Duncan, Go and cook up a piece of sand into I'll glass. Collect it and cook it up. Okay. You're going to actually dig it up. Yeah. Now, this recipe, of course, is ridiculous because you can't just cook up sand and expect it to make glass. That Why not? is mental. Because it's a crazy crafting recipe, isn't it? It doesn't make any sense. So That's how you make glass. Uh, well, no, but it's not, not in a crafting bench, you don't. You have to put it in a furnace. Oh, of course. Um, I've got a, a sand. Okay. Uh, so bring it to... Do we actually have a furnace? Uh, a furnace. A furnace furnace. Do we have a furnace? Uh, anyway. Look. Oh, here's one. Okay. A steel furnace. Got, this is going to be creme de la creme. just as slow and uninformative as the main series. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. We've smelted a sand into a glass. Brilliant. So that works. We know that works. Okay. Yes. Now, what we can do is take that glass and put it into this blank uh, pattern here, pattern encoder. Mm-hmm. It's there, there and encode it onto that thing. Like okay? that? So that is now a ridiculous uh, recipe. Suppressing code. Done. Boop. Okay, grab that drive out. Okay. Okay, now come with me. We're going upstairs to this building, third floor. Right. So up on this third floor, we are going to put down a redstone furnace. Okay. And we're going to plug it just right, like, I don't know, just like balls to it. We'll plug it here. Okay. Why not? Now, this is going to need to go into the mains, so I will put, put a cable under it to wire it up into the mains. And also, mm. it will need a couple of these things plugging in. So if you want to take these advanced electrical cables and just wire that up for me onto the bottom, uh, I will show people what they need to know. So we need to put down a thing called an ME interface, uh, not one that's pre-configured, one that isn't pre-configured, onto here, boop, and give it it's huge a down arrow. Okay, now if we plug this in to the ME cable, which is yep. wired into the whole factory, it's now pointing down. Now put that recipe that you made into the... Does that go like under the ground between the towers? Uh, no, it goes actually, I put it along the walkway above us. Ah. So it's actually running on the walkway. Can we not above. use wireless? Uh, no, this doesn't actually. This <laughs> is all networked in by a LAN. Could we use wireless? No. Uh, so we be we're living before Wi-Fi. We're, we're going to make ourselves some wireless control so we can access the computer from anywhere in our building, actually. But, but you couldn't make the ME interface network wireless? No, no, no. Maybe. Well, maybe, but I don't know how okay. yet. Uh, that's part of the thing we'll do this week. So, so yep. put, the pr put the recipe into this processing thing. Which, just in the slot there. Into the okay. slot there. There you go. So, look, see, crafts one glass with, with one, one sand. sand. Right? Now, we want to have uh, an export bus... Uh, a bait, sorry, a basic import bus. So it imports things into the computer coming out this side here. Okay, so that will now import anything that's orange in the redstone furnace out of the orange slot. No, but you need an export bus, surely. An export bus takes things out of the computer. No, it, does it? Yeah. Yeah, trust would, me. Wouldn't export out of the furnace. So import goes <laughs> in. So, okay, so now we've done that recipe. I want you to go downstairs and look oh. into the computer, and you should now see a recipe for. Glass. Okay, so can you go down there and check it out? So, in the, in the computer, there should be a recipe in for... The, in the computer, uh, so where? Type, type in glass. Oh, right, I see. And then it should say you can craft it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Craft. Okay, so craft some glass. Oh, can I, oh, yeah, it can make quartz glass as well. Yeah, there we go. Just so, make normal glass. So I want to make one glass begin. Okay, there you go. The redstone furnace is on. It's put sand in. It's cooking glass, and the glass is done. 
and it's sucked it out. I've got a glass. And you've got the glass. Wow. Okay, now we can do that for anything, any machine that we want. So what we're going to do is we're going to make these for steel. We're going to make these for alloys. We're going to make these for even like the redstone conduits. So, for example, if we want or glowstone illuminators. So we can make a process from the machines we've got downstairs that will put a glowstone illuminator frame into a, one of those fluid transposers and it'll just do it automatically. Okay. Okay, now, next problem, right? We haven't got enough sand to make glass. So how do we solve that problem? We dig it. No, we have uh, a cobblestone generator that's generating cobblestone. And then smash it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a new recipe in here and it's going to be cobblestone makes sand, which again is a ridiculous recipe, but we know that it works in a pulverizer. Okay, so we're going to set up another system up here, exactly the same, but it's going to be a pulverizer, right? And it's going to have an interface on top of it, like this, and it's going to, we're going to run some cable over from here, just literally just like this, because we can. Does that work? Yep. And uh, another basic import bus on the side, and we'll make this one face downwards, and then we'll put the recipe inside it, like this. Okay, so now this should be a recipe to make sand. Okay? Uh -huh. So what I'd like you to do, Duncan, is go down to the computer, take all the sand out of it, and then request to make a glass. Okay, so it will try and make a glass, but oh it can't because there's no sand. God. So instead, it will pulverize a cobblestone into sand and use that. Um. Okay. You excited? Yeah, I just got hit into like a underground kind of cable area by oh. a zombie. Oh dear, is there a hole in the ground? <laughs> What's... Ah! Okay, good. You bastard. Wow. Okay, so I will press to make a glass craft. Okay, so... Ten. Begin. Oh god. Okay, so it should start making sand into cobblestone. Oh, okay, I haven't hooked this into the power. It's not that's... working. I know, that's because this, is... this pulverizer has got no power. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll hook that up. Boop. Do I do it again? Is there cobblestone Begin. In... Is there cobblestone in the machine? There's many. Okay, there we go. So, what? Uh, ten cobblestone is now going into the pulverizer. What did, you, what did you do wrong? I didn't have the input go into the top correctly. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, this so is one of the things. Let's make some glass. Begin. Okay, you're now making more. Well, it's cooking up sand, so that's a good start. Uh, and the pulverizer is going co cooking up cobblestone. So these both these machines ah, I have glass. are working full whack. Woo! So how many of you queued up? Uh, I don't know. Loads. How do I tell? Okay, well, you use a thing called an Emmy crafting monitor, which I have made. Okay, so here it is. Bam. Right, now you can tell what things you've queued up to get cast, crafted, and if they're not working, you can see why. One sand. So it's currently crafting oh, 81 one glass. sand. Now it's trying to craft 81 glass. Wow, you've queued up quite a lot of glass there. Now... It has to make sand to make the glass. Yeah, now you can... It's currently... See, it's, there you go, now it's 80 to do. So actually, it's a fairly slow process, but... It's, it, it's well, going to do Most it. recipes don't, don't need more than, like... One or two glass. That's true. Um, so what we can do is we can just queue it up to get a thousand glass, and then you know we'll be fine. So that if if you queue it up for a thousand glass, that's good. Are we going to make a recipe for every single thing we want, like cogs? Yes. Oh. However, God. most things are made of fairly simple stuff. Like I want to make a cog thing. A cog thing. Because that'll be this. That's like ten different steps, isn't it? It'd oh, cool. what the um the the, the oh, like yeah, a that's cog. a really good one actually. So sticks go into. So, okay, so in the meantime, Some sticks. I think we are going to need probably a bunch more technical shizzle whizzle being made up in this, in this hole, in this Hot place. Ball. Okay, so the pulverizer is making sand, the rest of us is, make, is cooking up stuff, but we can cook up other things. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to do quite quickly right. was the recipe which makes zombie brains into leather. Yeah. And that is quite simple, that's just... Um, I think it's just a smelt, yeah, so smelt zombie brains into, oh no, dried flesh. Oh, there you go, redstone furnace, zombie brains into leather, okay? So, let's put that in there. I need a zombie brain and I need a leather. Alright, so... What are you doing? I need to, do I need to make a cot? Oh, I need to have, like, double each thing then, do I? You need to make one of everything first, which is ah. a bit of a fiddle. So I need to have twice the resources to do something. Yeah, but it's best also if you just put one of, I think, I, th I think... Yeah, mm -hmm. so there we go. One leather makes one zombie brain. So now, I don't put that in here. I put this in the redstone furnace. 
So now we can make infinite leather from zombie brains. Yeah. As long as we have zombie brains, of course. Um, so when we run out of zombie brains, unfortunately, we will have no more leather. But we can just call up leather now. So when we run out of this in here, look, we can say, I'd like to make two leather. And it'll queue it up. That's so cool. There we go. So oh now it's on, it's on the queue of being crafted. After all the sand. Okay. Oh, crap. After all the sand. Okay, so if I... I take this stuff out. Okay. I put in the blank pattern. Yep. And the f I had to make this. I had to make it first. I need a crafting bench. Okay, you can use the computer. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I have made two crafting terminals. Conk. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to queue up, and we're going to have in this factory a computer terminal on every level, and we're going to have elevators going up and down. We are also going to need to build a bunch more really cool stuff, and we will do that soon yeah. but i think for now i just want to get these basic crafting processes up and running so the next thing i wanted to do was set up a basic crafting process for steel and a basic crafting process for the enriched alloy stuff which is used by all of those mechanism tools okay oh and my god this, this cog thing is gonna be really annoying <laughs> the cog thing that you've made yeah the cogs so i have one of each cog that's right you need one wooden cog so only four wooden cogs so i can make the other ones uh, no, you just... Oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but once you've made one and you put that crafting recipe in there, you should be fine. Yeah. Um, ah, okay, we've run out of glowstone dust on the Emmy blank pattern. Now, that is going to be a problem because glowstone dust is a little bit hard to come by. Um, we have got 72 glowstone blocks. Oh, can you pulverize them? Probably is the most efficient way. Now, we already have a pulverizer going. Okay. So, technically, what we can do is we can literally the same one. use this recipe to do it. So, when you're done with the pattern encoder... Oh, my God. Diamond gear. Blank pattern. Blank pattern encode. Okay, so... so all of these need to go above you in this... In Emmy this machine. ...thing. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, so you made so all the types of gear. So we take all the gear. gears out of the computer. Right, take them all out. And then try and make, and make a, diamond a one. high level one. And it should go through the, the process. Okay. If you so have enough things that make it like sticks. One diamond gear, begin. Right. So, uh, it should make. It's crafting. There you go. It's crafting. It's crafted it. Oh my god, it actually worked. Oh! Holy crap. So that's now cool. you can make any type of gear instantly. Same thing with pistons. You never have to remember the recipe for piston again. You just say, I'd like to have a piston. Isn't that awesome? That's very awesome. So, one. Glowstone uh, bar makes four glowstone dust. So actually, I could do with four. There you go. I can actually make it out of one. And then I can say encode. And then I can put this in the pulverizer. So anytime we run out of glowstone dust, if we have glowstone blocks instead, they will get used. Wow. Okay. They will get ground up. So there we go. So now. So you can use the same machine to do several things. Yep. So now it's actually even grinding up the glowstone already. Ho. Lee shit. One thing that's relevant to be mentioning now is that the digital miner that we have set up currently, I don't know where. Um, deep dark, I think. Is it still in the deep dark? Well, we better bring it back. But basically, um, this series is going to be sort of running semi parallel with the main series, so they might sort of overlap a little bit weirdly, but pff, who cares? Um, one of the cool things is that you can set that to silk touch and it will just give you the raw ore blocks themselves. Now, if you do that, some of the ore blocks are better than um, oh, really? breaking stuff differently. So, for example, if we went into the nether, if we, if we broke the glowstone blocks with a pick, we might not get four glowstone dust off them. But if we silk touch the glowstone blocks and then put them in the pulverizer, we're always going to get four. Mm -hmm. So it's more, sometimes more valuable. The other thing is that it's quite interesting. Like, for example, if you put coal ore through a specific type of machine, like a sag mill, uh, you can sometimes get better stuff. So... A coal ore will just give you one coal. If you put it through an enrichment chamber, it will give you two. A redstone furnace will only give you one. Pulverizer will give you two. Lacerated something, blah, blah, blah. Alloy smell, one. But sag mill, you get three coal, one coal powder, a cobblestone, and sometimes a diamond. Whoa. So that's why if we silk touch the coal ore instead of breaking it, we're going to get more coal yeah. and the chance of diamonds. So that's why everything that gets mined off the, uh, the uh, digital miner should be silk touched because then we can put it through the relevant machine. This uh, assembly chamber is going to fill up fairly quickly, yeah? 
Uh, yes, and that's why we need to automatically craft the bits from the assembly chamber to make it bigger. Right. So which ones are they? Uh, we're going to need more assembler containment walls. We're going to need more heat vents. We're going to need more pattern providers. And we're going to need more crafting CPUs. Okay. Now, heat vent. The... Oh, you can craft them with this. Yeah, because I've put them in the pat patterns oh, for them in already. Look, I'm very clever. Where? Upstairs. Oh, yeah, heat vent. Oh, okay, so we need... Yeah, heat vent. It doesn't tell you what they're called, though, does it? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, heat vent, uh, crafting CPU, containment wall. So we, we need a bunch more of them, do we? Yes. How many of each one? Um, we need uh, more of these assembler containment walls, so it might be worth just mapping it out. So we want to look at... Uh, it's 3 by 3 now, so we want to look at 5 by 5 really. Yeah, so we're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 16 times 2, so 32, that's that's the bottom layer and the top layer, and then plus 3, 6, 9, 12. So we're going to need 44 assembler containment wall. Uh-huh. Okay. We're probably going to need about 30 heat vents, I'm not sure. Um, and then on the internal dimensions, that will leave a gap of three by three by three, which is nine, which is twenty-seven internal components. So we okay. will need twenty-seven. I've set it to build forty walls. Okay, so we will need either twenty-seven pattern providers or CPU crafters. Now, inside a crafting thing like this, there are two components that go inside. There are pattern providers. These provide a page of recipes. So this currently only has one pattern provider in it, the one above us. We're out of okay. gold. Yeah. Um, and so we need we need one pattern provider for each page. And then if we put crafting CPUs in there, it will double the rate at which stuff is crafted. Maybe you didn't have to make all those cogs, actually. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>